Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this lecture is all about big data interview questions and their answers. So without further ado, let's get into it. So big data is all about a vast amount of data, which is a large data set which can be measured in terabytes or petabytes or even more than that. And this era of big data has just begun with more companies inclined towards the big data to run their all operations the demand for talent is at all time high because the big data is still or maybe ever growing technology and it was among the world's 10 highest paying jobs in the year 2020 in technology and there are numerous opportunities which are available across the globe you can choose to become data scientist data analyst database administrator big data engineer or a hadoop big data engineer so in this lecture we are going over some basic interview questions that you must be aware of to crack the interview so the first question is very basic what do you mean by the term big data so the answer is big data is nothing but a term which is associated to a huge amount of volume with a complex data sets so this data is not manageable by the relational databases and that's why some special tools and methods are used to perform operation on a vast collection of data so big data will enable companies to understand the business better and helps them to drive a meaningful information out of a unstructured or a raw data which is collected on a regular basis so it also allows companies to take better business decisions which are backed by the data so this was all about the definition of big data the second one is what are the five v's of big data so this is also very important question so the five v's are nothing but volume velocity variety veracity and value so we will go through it in a short way so volume which nothing but the amount of data which is growing at a high rate and it can increased up to petabytes as well the velocity means the rate at which the data is growing So for example social media contributes a major role of velocity of growing data. The next one is variety. So variety means different types of data which can be either structured or unstructured just like text, audios and videos. Then veracity means the uncertainty of available data. So the veracity arises due to high volume of data which brings incompleteness as well as inconsistency. And the value So value refers to turning data into some meaningfulness. So by turning data into value, business may generate the revenue. So this was all about the five V's of big data. The next question is how big data and Hadoop are related to each other. So as you already know, big data and Hadoop are almost synonym terms. With the rise of big data, a Hadoop framework which specializes in big data operation also became more and more popular. and the framework can be used by professional for analyzing the big data and help businesses to make the impromptu decisions so you have to remember one thing clearly this question is very commonly asked in a big data interview so you can go further to answer this question and try to explain the main components of hadoop which will make it a great impression the next question is how big data analysis is helpful in increasing the business revenue So in this question you have to explain why big data is helping business to stay in the competition. So big data analysis is a very important for each and every business either it is small or a big. So it help business to differentiate themselves from other and increase the revenue. So through the predictive analysis this big data provides business a customized recommendation and suggestions. And also big data will enable businesses to launch new products depending upon the customer taste and preferences so these factors make business to earn even more and this companies are using big data analytics so it can significantly impact the revenue increase of 5 to 20% and some of the popular companies are using big data analytics to increase their revenue such as walmart linkedin Facebook, Twitter and so on. So this is how you should convey how the big data is useful for the companies and how it contributes to increase the business revenue. The next question it is also a vital one. 
So explain the steps which are followed to deploy a big data solution. So there are majorly three steps to deploy a big data solution. First one is a data ingestion. Second one is a data storage. And the third one is data processing. So the first step of for deploying the big data solution is data ingestion. So as the name suggests, it is just extraction of data from various sources. So they can be the CRM like Salesforce, the enterprise resource planning system such as SAP as well as RDBMS like MySQL or any other log files. It can also include documents, also the social media feeds as you already aware, etc. So this data can be injected through batch jobs or a real time streaming. It all depends on the velocity of data which you need to ingest. And this extracted data is then stored in the HDFS for the next step. And the next step is a data storage. So after data ingestion, the next step is to store this extracted data either into, into HDFS or a NoSQL database. So the example is HBase. So the HDFS, which is nothing but Hadoop distributed file system, works well for sequential access, whereas this HBase will work for a random read and write access. And the third step is data processing. So in this final step, the data is processed through one of the processing frameworks such as Spark, MapReduce, Pig, etc. These technologies we are going to discuss in our upcoming tutorials. But I hope we already covered some introductory part regarding these tools. So if you want to know more, just refer our playlist which is dedicated to big data. So our next question is, define the components of HDFS and YARN. So it is also a very vital question. There are mainly two main components of HDFS. The first one is a name node and the second one is a data node or we can say slave node. So name node is a master node for processing metadata information for the data blocks which are present in the HDFS. And the second one is a data node. So this is the node which acts as a slave node to store that data as well as for processing and use by the name node. And the YAN also has two main components. The first one is a resource manager and second one is a node manager. So resource manager is a component which receives the processing request and accordingly it allocates to respective node managers which depends upon the processing needs. And the node manager executes task on each single data node. So these are all the components of HDFS and YAN respectively. Our next question is why Hadoop is used for big data analytics. So since the data analysis has become one of the key parameters of every business, the enterprises are dealing with massive amount of structured, unstructured as well as semi-structured data. And analyzing unstructured data is a quite difficult process where the Hadoop takes a major part of its capability of storing, processing and collecting that data. And also Hadoop is an open source and runs on a commodity hardware, which are very cost effective and easy to replace. So hence, it is a good solution for every business. Our next question is what is FSCK? So what do you mean by that? It is nothing but a file system check. So it is a command used by HDFS, which is used for checking some inconsistency and to find out any problems in the file. So for example, if there are any missing blocks in the file, then HDFS gets notified through this command. So this is just for a system check purpose. Our next question is, what are the main differences between NAS, which is network attached storage and the HDFS? This is a little bit tricky question. So there are majorly two differences between NAS and HDFS. So the HDFS, which is Hadoop distributed file system runs on a cluster of machines while the NAS works on a individual machines. Hence, during the hardware failure, HDFS will be a good option since the data is distributed across this commodity hardware instead of only one hardware as NAS. And the next one is data is stored as a data blocks in local drives in case of HDFS. And on the other hand, in case of NAS, it is stored as a dedicated hardware. 
So these main two difference you have to remember if this question will come in the interview. And the last question is pretty simple. So what is the command to format the name node? So it is really simple. The command is hdfs space name node dash format. So this command is used to format the name node. So these are all some basic big data questions that may come in the big data interview. So I hope you got the clear understanding of which type of question may come across in the big data interview and how to face them. So if you like this lecture, please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. And don't forget to follow us on our social media that I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.